Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna do uh, some more dipping and um, what we've got here is we actually got a bow riser. So um, there's a couple of different ways that you can dip a bow riser. Uh, one of them being a single dip, one of them being a double dip. Um, in this case, because I'm feeling lucky today, I'm gonna go ahead and just go with a single dip. So um, there's a couple of things that you want to do whenever you actually dip this. So you want to actually study this, see how the bow riser is shaped, because some bow risers may not be able to be dipped in one whole dip. Others you may be able to, because of course the way that they have these cuts and the angles and the curves with the bows nowadays, everything is just crazy. And so sometimes the film will wrap up and around all of those little intricate pieces. Other times you may have to do it in a double dip or something like that. So in this case, what we're actually going to do is we're gonna do a single dip. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually hold this like this, and we're going to dip it at an angle just like this. And so what's gonna happen is, is that the film is of course going to hit right here. It's going to wrap up the back side, wrap up the front side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to keep it at an angle. So this right here is going to be my apex. And so as that film wraps around, if everything works right, it's actually going to wrap around and come up and then meet right here on this edge and then follow this edge all the way down just like this, all the way across and back down into this area right here. So of course, we're going to get a little bit of stretch in here, of course some stretch in there, stretch in here, but it's in one dip. Now, some customers, they may not like that because of the stretch. Other customers, they're like, hey, it looks great, it looks factory. Um, the other thing you gotta keep in mind is, is what film are you using? You know, if you were using a carbon fiber, I would say I'm not even gonna try this because carbon fiber, whenever it's stretched, doesn't look good at all. And especially with all the curves and the detail work that's in a, a bow riser like this, it isn't something that's gonna happen. But in this case, because we're doing um, a, a camouflage, um, I think it would work really well. And so again, you know, it's one of those things where sometimes it's easier just to go ahead and tape it off and then do it half and half. Now, if you wanted to do that, you certainly could. And so what we would actually do is if we were gonna do it half and half, we would tape off this top side right here and this side right here. And so essentially you're taping off two sides to the bow, you're, say the top and the front. And so then you would dip this back side and the left side of the bow. And so then whenever we dip it, we rinse it, we get it all dried back off, we come back, we actually tape over the dip on the two sides that we just dipped, and then come back and re-dip the other two that we did not do. And so then, of course, you rinse it again, you pull all your tape off, you clear coat it, a lot of steps involved. Um, and we'll probably make a video on that as well, but in this case, we just kind of wanted to show uh, what all you can really do with a bow and doing it in a single dip. So if it doesn't work out, oh well, at least you see a video on it not working out. If it does work out, then great. So um, I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this video, so let's go ahead and get started with it. So um, the film that we've got is a true timber pattern. Um, it's what the customer wanted. It's a, um, I believe it's like true timber green, um, if I remember right. Uh, oh, HTC Green, that's right. Um, so, uh, really good pattern to work with. Um, we like it. It, it. it seems to wrap really well, and I think it's going to work really well on a pattern like this. The other good thing is, is that um, you can touch it up very easily. So, if there is any blowouts or anything like that, uh, you can quickly and easily touch it up. And so, in this case, what I'm going to do is, is I'm actually going to tape two sides of the uh, of the film not all four but just the two and it's mainly going to be the longest two sides and so what we're going to do here is is we're going to take this bow and we're going to set it i got about an inch or so off on this one side here and then i'm going to actually just wrap it and roll it back over and so right here i'm pretty much going to with this film that i've got i'm going to just cut it in half and so uh, we've got our little half inch tape here and all we're going to do is, is just go ahead and put our tape down and cut it right in half. And so essentially, we'll grab that there. All right. So we've got one half on that. 
Now, one thing that I'm gonna do is, and this is just more personal preference, make it easier. I'm just gonna lay that side down there, lay this side down here with just some tape, just mainly to keep the corners down. And then I can take my tape again, pull out a whole length of it, and then take and lay it out like that. So, now that we've got that, now we have plenty of room for this thing to wrap all the way around the entire bow. So we'll go ahead, we'll cut it. And so we're cutting it right above the line on the tape. And so essentially that is going to be extra that we can use for a later job or anything like that, even touch-ups. And of course this is going to be what we're gonna be dipping in. So I'm gonna cut these edges off right here. All right, so now that we got those edges cut off, uh, let me span this out here. All right, so now we're ready to lay everything in the water and get everything going. So <coughs> we'll take this right here. Now, one neat thing that you can do is, is um, with a pattern like this, it actually has writing on the film. And so if I can read the writing with it sitting here where it says HTC, then I know that it's upside down. So in this case, I'm actually going to flip this over. So now whenever we go to look at the film and we try to read some of the letters, it's actually backwards. And so if you do have a film that has writing on it, that's a quick and easy way to tell. Of course, the other standard method is, is get your fingers wet, touch both sides of the film. The sticky side goes down 100% every time, no matter what. So now that we know which side is up, which side is down, let's take this and put it in the water. Now again, corner to corner, it's normally the easiest and best way to do that. Everybody's got their own preference, but that seems to work really well for us. So we're gonna take this here. Now again, you can start to see how my pattern is starting to wrinkle. So all we're gonna do is, is take some air and blow out the pattern just a little bit to kind of release those wrinkles. Doesn't take very long. You can see that now everything's starting to kind of smooth back out. Even with that wrinkle right there, it'll go away whenever we uh, take and activate it. So we'll go ahead and finish pulling in our dividers. Get that set right there. And we'll get some gloves on and get started. Now one thing to remember is, is whenever you're doing a single dip like this, you've got to be slow and steady and consistent. So the other thing is, is that you've got to make sure that you activate it correctly. And so if you under activate that, it will not wrap around the entire part. So you're already doomed from the start. So you've got to make sure you get your activator right. And then you have a slow and steady hand going all the way down into the water. We're not going to go forward. We're not going to go back. We're just going to go straight down. So that way we have an equal amount of stretch around the entire part. So we got our timer, 60 seconds on the water. We're going to go ahead and spray it. All right, so looks like everything looks good. We're gonna get our hold on this, and again, we're gonna be going up at that angle, just like that. We'll kinda make sure everything looks good, because again, if it doesn't look good right now, you might as well just throw it out, because it's not going to wrap. And now, we will start our descent going down into the film. So you can see I'm going really nice and slow. I'm not trying to rush it at all. And there you have it. So that is one complete dip all the way down. And so if you'll notice, we've got our line, like I was saying right there, 
And then you'll also notice all the way around, we have one dip all the way around the entire thing. And so that right there is going to be an excellent dip. The customer's gonna love it. And we was only able to do it in one shot instead of two. Alright, so we got everything dipped, it turned out amazing, and uh, just wanted to kind of show you guys what it looks like in the raw, fresh out of the rinse station there, and everything looks really good. So of course, as you can tell, whenever you're looking at this, we've got a little bit of blowout right in here, not a big deal, easy fix. Uh, even something like this right here, we've got some blowouts, uh, a little spot right there, easy fix and then even right there and then of course you can even tell right around in here so again those are easy fixes uh, even around some of these little pockets right here but um, nothing that a quick uh, touch up is definitely going to be able to be fixed on on these little parts like that so um, kind of wanted to give you guys an idea before we touched it up on how well this actually came out just by doing the single dip on it. And so again, we're gonna go through here, we're gonna take our black, our green, our brown, and uh, do the touch-up methods, just like what we had done in a previous video. If you haven't watched it, I'll put a link in the description below on doing different touch-ups, so then that way you can see how we're actually going to touch all this up. Uh, I would probably say 90% of what we're gonna be doing is probably gonna be done with an airbrush, uh, just because we feel a lot more comfortable with the airbrush, but again, everybody's got their own personal preference. Uh, if you prefer the paintbrush, then perfectly fine. But uh, it's all in what you prefer on doing the touch-ups and also what's gonna look best, whether it's going to be shading and fading in things or a exact color match, so then you would actually get it off of the uh, off of the film and put it exactly where you need to go. So. Um, we're going to go ahead, we're going to get this touched up, we're going to uh, clear coat it, and then we're going to be using our uh, flat clear, the Liquid Concepts flat clear, uh, great clear, really excellent for even a project like this, uh, a lot of durability in it, UV protection and everything, so um, stay tuned. Okay, so now that we got everything all touched up, ready to go, now we're ready to put it in the paint booth, hang it up, wipe everything down with the tack rag, make sure that there's no lint, dust, anything like that on it, and then we're ready to shoot it with our flat clear. So uh, we've got all of our touch-ups on here. Everything looks really good. Um, and mainly all we did was is we just took some black and an airbrush and we just went in through here because this side was a little bit lighter. We just mainly darkened in just a little bit in here, a little bit in these areas right here, and threw a little bit in some of these little corner pockets, mainly just to kind of darken them up a little bit because of course, as you saw before, we used a white base coat and we don't want that white really popping very much because it is a camouflage, we want a darker pattern and you don't want to be able to see it while you're in the woods. And so uh, in that case, we just took a little bit of the black and the airbrush, airbrushed in these little pockets uh, inside the, the um, pocket limbs or inside where the limbs go and uh, then you're ready to go. So uh, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna put this in the paint booth and get it hung up, get it clear coated, so stay tuned. Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So uh, we've got everything already clear coated, everything looks great, um, everything came out really good with it. So um, just kinda wanted to give you guys a little preview of what it all looks like after the clear is on there. Uh, of course, all of your colors, they really pop, they look really good. We've got our greens, which is our uh, more of a brighter color. Everything looks really good with that. It looks very crisp. Even our blacks look really deep and dark. Um, whenever you put the clear on it, it just makes everything blend together. Everything looks great. Um, I think this bow turned out really awesome, especially for being 
one dip and uh, you know the customer is really going to love it um, and it should last them a very long time especially with the process that we do going through and prepping it the right way so um, kind of want to just give you guys a few shots of this and see exactly what it looks like after it's being clear coated um, if you enjoyed this video definitely hit the subscribe button we'd love to have you subscribe and then see all the other uh, weekly tips and tricks that we put out all the time and then if you have any other questions or comments about this bow or any other videos that we make definitely let us know in the comments below and we'd be more than happy to uh, see what we can do about trying to get you a video posted or um, uh, anything that you might have questions or comments about we'd love to try to answer them for you so I'm Brian from Liquid Con Concepts and we're making hydrographics great again. Thank you guys for watching.